Hello everyone and welcome to my first ever YouTube video. To make this mug, first thing we need to do is weigh out some one and a half pound portions of clay. Each one will become a different mug. After that, we're gonna go ahead and wedge each portion to remove any air bubbles that may be in the clay. Wedging also makes the clay homogenous. Okay, now that that's done, let's go ahead and throw our mug. Look at all those little guys. Next, we're gonna put them in my drying fridge so they can dry slowly and evenly. After they've dried overnight until leather hard, trim the sides and bottom. To make the handles, I cut out a bunch of cylinders with my handle tool. Then I smoosh them flat and give them a basic handle shaped curve. Then I set them aside to firm up while I make some decorations. I want this mug to have flower embellishments, so we're gonna use our silicone molds to make some. These are actually cake decorating molds. While we let those dry a little bit, say hello to my shop dogs, Gidget, and Patrick the water pony. Look at those eyes. To attach the handle, First, we cut the ends at an angle. So that after we finish shaping, it will sit flush. Then mark where the handle will go so we'll know where to score it. Scoring gives a lot of extra surface area for the handle and mug to adhere to each other, which is very important. Then I add some slip and smush it on. Now that the flowers have dried a bit, we'll go ahead and pop them out of the molds. Then, just like the handle, score, slip, and smush. And put them back in the fridge to finish drying completely to prepare for the bisque fire. Oh, it looks as though we've gained a couple more furry shop friends. 
After bisque firing to 1900 degrees, I'll wrap some rubber bands around the base to keep a sharp glaze line. Now pour in some glaze to coat the inside. And then slather it on the outside, making sure to get in all the crooks and nannies. using a sponge to wipe off just a little on the high points to give it sort of an antique look. Then into the kiln to fire again at almost 2200 degrees. Hey guys, it is finished. Thank you so much for watching. In future videos, I do plan on going into more details about some of the clays and glazes and techniques that I've learned. I started making pottery about two years ago and I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't think that I was creative at all, uh, but it was always something that I was really drawn to. As it often does though, life gets in the way and I just always put it off. Now though, I can't imagine not having this outlet. It's become sort of meditative for me. I still have a lot to learn. Instead of being intimidating though, it's really exciting. I'd love for this channel to encourage you to step out of your comfort zone, find your passion, experiment, fail, succeed. I'll be giving this mug away. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment telling me something you've always wanted to do, and then tell me why you've never started. In doing so, I hope that it sparks something in you to take the first step.